Hey there, Lick and Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're going to explore, dissect, and master the amazing sound and technique that is the banjo roll. <laughs> so forth. You can use it with chords as well. Okay, also normal chords. Okay, you can... Uh... Okay, you can create your own variations of this. But the basic technique is actually pretty simple, believe it or not. Um, the sound it produces, because of how the guitar is tuned, okay, it's all due to the standard tuning actually um you can produce really interesting tapestries of sound um without much effort the rhythm pattern is actually one of two it's either three three two or two three three okay three three two or two three three okay it all adds up to eight okay because it's eighth notes now how you divide the rhythm pattern actually gives you the roll. So um, let's start with the basic sound. Let's put our finger on nine on the third string. Okay, now nine on the third string is E. Okay, and it's the same as, as E, as the first string. So you get um, a unison there, which adds to the banjo roll. It adds to the sound, to the effect. Now, you can go three, three, two. So you can play, okay? You play the third string using your thumb and you play strings one and two using these two fingers, okay? This creates the dynamic. Now, if we go for three, three, two, we play strings three, one, two, okay? Three, one, two, three, one. Okay, three, three, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, now it helps if the if the two strings, one and three, are not in exact unison. Okay, if you have that chorus effect between them. Okay, if they're in perfect unison, you get a different effect. I like it when it's slightly detuned. It's a personal preference. So, okay, it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. It's strings, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. It's not a difficult uh, technique to pull off. And if you crank it up to speed, you get... Now, you get a kind of a, a foreground, background thing, because this note, okay, because it's played with the thumb, it gets a better dynamic, and these two, strings one and two, remain in the background. So you get, okay, you get a sort of a rhythm on the third string. Okay, now if you go for two, three, three, then you play two strings for the first couplet, okay? Now, it can be strings 3-1, okay? Or it can be strings 3-2, okay? Now, because it's the same note, I actually prefer the second string. Listen to the difference. Okay? This is... Okay, this is the first string. Okay, this is the second string. Okay. Okay. You get a sort of a, a sort of a space between you get 
almost a breathing space there. Right? But it doesn't make that much of a difference. It's all a matter of preference, personal preference. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? So those are your only two choices when you play a full banjo roll. Now, I played nine on the third string. You can play four as well. Okay, that's one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, two, three, three. If I play three, three, two. Okay, now you can do a turnaround. Four, three, two, one. Okay, you can also minimize the space between the notes. Okay, you can create your own variation of this. Now, you can play uh, the hammer on that I showed you, but that's, let's, let's wait with this. Try to move the finger on the third string, okay? Just randomly. Okay, you get, you get a solo you get a very interesting sound with just okay, just moving one finger around. Now, again, you can complicate it by moving the finger um, even more sporadically. Okay, every time you hit the third string, for example. So practice this first. Um, but the idea is not so much the movement than the expression. I don't like to move a lot when I play this. I like to keep the chord on, to keep the same note on and the same chord going. So um, again, before we move on to the hammer on, because that's a more complex pattern, put nine and nine on strings two and three and see what you get. Okay, that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. If you go for two, three, three, okay, or now try eight and nine on strings two and three. Okay, seven and seven, six and seven, okay, five and five and so on and so forth. Try different variations. Okay, different variations, really. Okay, try. Okay, try uh, three and six. Okay, try five and, uh, and eight. Okay, different, different combinations of notes and you might come up with really interesting and uh, unique ideas. Now, the hammer-on thing, okay, okay, um, I hammered on three to four on the third string or eight to nine, okay? Now, there are a couple of patterns that I played. I played, uh, I think the first pattern was, okay, it was, okay, it was a hammer-on and then the second string, which is three notes okay so it's one two three and then i just played three two okay so it's one two three one two three one two okay so the hammer on is actually two notes you don't count it as one note so it's one two three one two three one two okay the hammer on is one two three the second string okay the other pattern that I played had two hammer-ons. Okay, so it's one, two, three. Okay, and then one again. Okay, the the second hammer-on is actually a new round. So it's one, two, three, four. Actually, it's four notes. So it's one, two, three, one, and then two, three, one, two. Okay. 
So I just play the first and second strings and then the couplet, the third and the first. So it's hammer on, hammer on, strings one and two, and then three, one. Okay, now you can play the two hammer-ons and then instead of um, the, um, the three count, okay, you can play another hammer-on and play another note. Okay, okay, and then you can play another hammer-on. Okay, that's another banjo rule because it's one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Can you hear it? Okay, it's one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's another banjo roll, it's the same pattern. Okay, so you see, as long as you have the, the two, three, three pattern or the three, three, two pattern, that's the banjo roll that we're going for. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, or one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, or you can also play one hammer on. Okay, remember. Okay, now there's a slight variation that I did here. I don't know if you could hear it. I didn't play hammer on note and then, okay, one, two, three, one, two. I played Okay, I played the hammer on, I played the second string, then I played the third, then the second again. Okay, and then one, two, three. Okay, strings three, one, and two. Okay, that's the three, two, three pattern. Three, two, three. I didn't want to confuse you, but you can play three, two, three as well. So. Okay, and then you get one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Okay, so it's a hammer on the second string, and then strings three, two, and then strings three, one, two. Okay, so it's. So that's another hammer on that you can do. Now, you can play chords, okay, seventh chord. Okay, and you can. If you have the whole chord on, you can change, uh, using your thumb, you can change between the third and the fourth uh, strings. Okay, and you get a banjo roll over a chord. You can find many, many different variations, but I think I gave you more than enough to work on uh, in this lesson. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Have fun.